Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and welcome to Tag Along Tuesday. I am going to try to make some pockets, and I'm going to use some of the papers from the add-on digital that goes with the September kit. Now, I did a little special with this uh, September e-kit. Uh, we had a few left over, so I said for anybody who purchases the ones that we had left over, I'll print these out and send them with them. We it's not many. That's why I said I would do it. <laughs> if it was a ton, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. But it is not that many, so. Okay. I'll link them below if you want to go over it and check those out. Now, first thing I'm going to do is cut this in half. These are going to be some quick and easy pockets, and we're also going to do some tags to go in them. So that's where the Tag Along Tuesday comes in at. Uh, let's cut it at five and a half. Then we got two, two possible pockets there. So, let me fold it up. I am going to leave a little bit of space at the top, and what that's going to be is my little flap for the bag. These are not going to be just pockets. They're going to resemble little bags, hopefully, when I get through with them. Yeah, that'll work. Works better if I get it straight. Now, I'm going to use my scoreboard to score these on the sides. You don't have to, but... I'm bad about folding crooked. And I'm just going to score at a half an inch on both sides. Okay. Alright, we're going to cut these flaps off because you don't need those. I've got scissors on both tables. I can't find them. Now, I will not go straight with this because my hand's too shaky. But just cut down that score line. And then I go ahead and cut across here at the top. So then you have something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and fold these sides up. They'll fold around to the back. Okay. Now, I don't necessarily want that white right there, so I'm just going to glue some book page on it. Um, you could leave it white or glue some other paper in there if you want, but I'm just going to glue a little bit of book page. Trim that off. There, I like that. So then I'm going to go ahead and burnish these sides down. Get my text message from Melina off my phone. <laughs> Oh, they have been texting me. I told you they're out of town at the National Quartet Convention in Tennessee. They're participating in it. And uh, Alicia and Melina both have texted me, I think, every day. Erin has texted me every day. I am down here cutting over my garbage can, if you're wondering what I'm doing down here. <laughs> you're wondering why you can't hear me very well I didn't want to get all those little giblets on the table and I just used my little pink and shears or my big pink and shears to make that look a little bit better there yeah Melina's texted me a couple of times and said that that stuff that you put in you got to take it out real quick because it's October e-club kit I said oh okay well you didn't tell me so I put it in there 
<laughs> Hopefully nobody bought it. And then I'm just gonna ink mine. Now you can put, you can also put a little pull right here if you want to. I don't think we'll need it because I'm gonna make my tag a little bit taller. You don't have to make your little bags this wide. I just thought that would be a good width for a journal because it's four and a half so that's going to be a pretty good width and then all we did need to do now did to do need to do is glue these down wherever I put my glue like I said I am out of practice so you guys will have to Bear with me. I started making one of these earlier just while I was sitting watching somebody on video. I started making these because they just kind of popped in my head and, and then it was like, uh, okay, I've messed up and I made it totally upside down. All right, so there is a little bag and that will hold about a four, let's see. We can put a four and a quarter tag in there so that's going to be a pretty wide tag like i said if you don't want them this wide you don't have to make them that wide i'm gonna make some this wide and then some a little narrower this one our little guy's going to be upside down if i use that one like that lock a bite um so hmm trying to figure out what i want to do I'm gonna leave that one aside. I may, may use it for something else. Cause I don't want that little guy to be upside down there. And I printed these a couple of times for myself, so I've got some extra. Now you could also fold them this way if you wanted to, like your normal bags. Let's just make one this way, cause I want to get that whole guitar in there. Let's see how. Let's see that's three and a half let's go a little bit wider yeah by the time we put the sides that should be good and I'll tell you how much how much I folded this over in just a second I folded it at four inches and then I'm just going to tear this little part off I do have a straight flat tear ruler don't I And then we can use those little birds somewhere else. Okay, let's see. How tall do I want it? I don't want it that tall, I don't think, the whole paper. So I think I'm going to tear a little of that bottom off. And I can use it somewhere else. And take it off about right there, maybe. And you can definitely put all this back in the cutter and cut it and not take a chance on going crooked like I have, but, or like I do. I don't know if I'm crooked yet. I won't know until I start putting it together. So I am going to score at one half inch down this side. It's that side we've got the fold on. So I'm going to score one half inch. And then at the bottom... Let's turn it this way. Makes it a little bit easier for me since I'm right handed. Bottom I'm going to score at a half. Close to a half. And I think, I'm just thinking about this. I don't think I'm going to take any down on the front on this one because I don't want to lose part of my, what is that, violin? I don't know what it is. Uh, some kind of musical instrument. I don't want to lose any part of that. So I don't think I'm going to make the front shorter than the back on this one. I didn't make my score line too deep because I didn't, couldn't even see where to fold it. going to cut this one off, the one on the back side. We don't need this flap. I 
I'll tell you what, I'm going to tear it. I have a little bit better look, I think, tearing, maybe, than using my scissors. Watch. Watch me mess up. Yeah, that tore better. Then I can see the bottom score line pretty good. And we're going to cut that off. And I think I just cut the wrong one off. We'll see. And then I cut that little edge out there. We need to also cut that a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be the front. Oh no, I didn't. I cut it right. Because you want that bottom piece to fold around to the back. You don't want it to fold to the front. So, it folds around like that. Now, I do need a little sliver off of here because it is trying to bunch up. So I'm just going to take about a sixteenth off. Yeah, that works much better. Yes, I like that. And I'm just going to cut the whole top with the pinking shear, both sides. So that, that will keep me from losing the part of my little instrument there that I wanted to keep. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Now we can glue this together. And we've got ourselves a little bag. And I know we've made bags before, and you guys know how to make bags. There's different ways to make them, but you can use whatever type of product you have. You can even use your old book pages or old scrapbook paper, whatever. I just, I needed some more pockets. And then I had this paper laying here that I had printed twice. So, I thought I'll just use that. You can tell I haven't used my glue in a while. Left it sitting the wrong way. There we go. I don't even mind that back side. I like that. That's cute. And this is not going to have to have a lot of embellishments either. Okay, I'm going to lay it aside until we start making the tag, and then we will make some embellishments to go in them. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's try one with the little postcards here. Let's see. What do I want on the front? I think I want the typewriter on the front. And let me see. Nope. We'll have to fold it this way to get the typewriter on the front. And I'm guessing it, that all of this folding, I'm not measuring, but if you want to measure, you can. I don't, I don't normally measure too much. I just look at it, and if it looks pretty good to me, then that's good. I had to call my doctor back this morning. I woke up about 4.30 hurting pretty bad. So, I called him back and said, something's got to give. <laughs> I am not, I'm not too happy right this minute. So, he has called me in more medicine, like I need more medicine. But, until we can figure out all of these things that I've got to have done. We've, I've got to just try to keep the infection down and keep the pain to tolerable minimum is what he calls it. And I'm like, uh, it's not hardly tolerable. Hmm, me, that's going to take part of my typewriter off. I'm going to just barely put a little fold in that. Not much at all. I don't want to miss most of my typewriter. Let's see. Okay, now you want to cut, you want to leave this and leave this. So then you want to cut this one and this one off. That way everything will fold around to the back. Okay. 
Yeah, I was sleeping so good. Then all of a sudden it was like the top of my head blew off. So I decided I would go ahead and try to get a video done this morning because I figure by afternoon I'm going to be trying to crash somewhere. Hopefully I can anyway. I still got to go pick up the medicine. Uh, you ever get tired of just taking medicine? It's like, what the world? Can't you just fix me where I don't have to take medicine? Just fix me. But then I think about my poor husband. Bless his heart, he took about 27 pills a day, every day for 17 years. Never complained once about it. He took a lot of medicine. But they said that kept him alive for a long period of time, so kept his heart going. So if he can take all of that, I can take four or five a day, I'm sure. Without being a crybaby. <laughs> okay, take the top off. Oh, that's cute. I like that little bag. Yeah, I like that one. We'll decorate that in a minute. So I'm going to lay it aside. Lay all my scraps right there so that I'll know how much paper I still have left to make. I've got that one. This is the ephemera that comes with that kit. That's ephemera. So we'll lay that one over there. And then I've got this one. So let's see if we can get a bag made from this and have this is the front focal point. I think they're that way, I believe. I think that's the right way up. At least I thought it was when I put it on here. Now someone asked me um, on last night's video, what program did I use to do my digitals? I used three different programs. I use Photoshop, the version, I don't know, it's the latest version of Photoshop, whatever that is. And then I also use um, Adobe Illustrator, and then I use Canva. Now, somebody asked, could I teach some lessons on how to do <laughs> digitals? I am not good enough to teach lessons. Betty is the one who teaches lessons on that. I just do little bits of what I know. So I cannot teach lessons on it. But Betty's got videos up all over her channel about making digitals. So, and that's who I learned from. Alright. Let's go ahead and make our score lines. I'm going to do right there. It's almost a half. And then at the bottom we can do just a little one, about five eighths or three eighths I mean. Okay now again you want to leave, if this is the front, you want to leave this flap and this flap on and cut these two off. Cut the back two off. And I cut just inside that score line. That way you can still see, that way everything folds over a little bit better. And then you're going to cut this corner out and then just chop off that little bit. I told you these are easy. These are like one of the easiest little bags that I make. And you could call them pockets if you want, but I like the looks of them. They look like a little bag to me.
And then I just fold everything up and, and look at the front before I start gluing because I want to make sure that it's somewhat straight. Yeah, that looks good. I don't mind that at all. That's cute. I like that one, which I like all of them. But. All right, we'll do this one and then we'll make some tags. Now, if you don't have pinking shears, use whatever little scissors you have, or you can just use regular scissors and just zigzag it across there, or just leave it straight, make it curvy, do whatever you want. That paper looks good with ink on it. Okay, so I've got, I made four just that quick, and then I had two more that I had made, made this one, and then that one which I need to put some paper up there. So let me grab some things and we'll make some tags to go in those. Okay, I just grabbed out some of my favorite pieces to make tags out of and this is the backing of your ephemera. It's not very thick, but it's thick enough that when you make a good tag, you can slide it down and it doesn't get flimsy. I cannot stand flimsy tags. I guess I've told y'all that a hundred times, but I just don't like them when they're flimsy. So, decide what I'm going to cover that with. I'm going to try to use all of this paper. So I'm going to use all my scraps, I do believe. Now I'm not going to pull this book, my glue book, in the shot because it has a glare on it. Because it's that, you know, shiny paper. One of those junk mail books. So I'm just over here putting my glue on here. Oops, and throwing it around everywhere, evidently. Since this has got a lot of green in it, I'm going to try to go with some of this lace and the wood look there. So have you, all, you guys all been well since I've been missing MIA? I tell you what, I've caught up on all the movies there is. I know that much. I didn't feel like doing much of anything else, so I was a couch potato and watched movies. And I really found out that there's not a lot out there to watch. I watched some old ones. There was some old ones there. Some of these new ones, they've got so many ugly words in them that you can't even concentrate on the movie for listening to them. And I don't, I, I mean, I'm not one of those prudes that you don't watch a movie it's got a bad word in it. I do watch movies that have bad words in them. But I just don't like to have to sit through them. I'd rather just concentrate on the dialogue. Now this is that newsprint paper that I was telling you about yesterday that I like to back my tags with. It's very light, but it does cover, and you still are able to write on that. A, a good ballpoint pen writes so good on that stuff. Okay, so that is all glued down. Now, I think all I'm going to do is round my corners because, reason being, I don't really want to make a tag shape because these are going to be kind of short tags. So I am going to, so I'm going to just use my little corner rounder, round all the corners off, and make nice tags or journaling cards, whichever. I'll have that glued up in a minute because I didn't wait for the glue to dry. There we go. Now, I may just put a little tag topper on it. I'm not going to put it in here right now and leave it because it's still wet, kind of, and I got glue on the outside of it. Let me decide what we want to punch for a topper. So, I have just punched a tag out of some of the scraps. I just punched a little topper out of some of the scraps, and I'm going to put it on here. I probably should have just looked in my ones that are already punched and got one of those, but... I had some scraps here and I just went ahead and did it. So there's our little topper. 
Y'all, I, yeah, I have to tell you this about Mr. Aaron. He sent me a picture a little while ago. He has contacted me every day since they have been up there. Asking me how I'm feeling and telling me he's praying for me. And Nene, are you okay? Are you okay? He worries about me. But anyway, he sent me a text and a picture. And they had just got through eating lunch at the Sunliner Diner. If you know anything about Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's a fantastic little diner. It's all back in the, you know, early days. And uh, he had finished his lunch and he had this class this tall that was full of some kind of sundae and he was about to enjoy it he said doesn't this look good <laughs> I said yes it does I got a, a sugar high just looking at it but wow it looked good I don't know if it was a banana split or just some kind of sundae or what it was. but And then the girls, Leisha sent me a picture of them and they had, Brooklyn and Pres, Presley had a uh, banana split that they had shared and it was huge and Brooklyn had it all sitting in front of her. <laughs> she, <laughs> Presley had a spoon that she was holding but Brooklyn had the whole thing in front of her. She's like, she wasn't sharing. I said, you better tell her she got to share. She said, oh, she is. She just slides it over there every now and then after she gets two bites. She lets Presley get one. <laughs> oh, man, she's a mess. She doesn't get to eat anything like that very often because she has the stomach problems. And she they've taken her off of any milk products and that kind of thing. But when she does, when her mom lets her have a little bit of it, she goes to town. She goes crazy. So she let her, I said, Are you sure about giving her some of that today? She said, well, since it's as early as it is, I think she'll be okay. But she said, I told her not to eat very much of it. So I said, well, good luck with that. Let's see. I like that on there. But, I'd have to cut it, and I don't know if I want to cut it or not. Hmm. Let's see if we have a flower that's already cut out that we might put there. I don't want to have to cut any out right now. Well, that one's pretty. I have a few of these cut out. I need to do some fussy cutting. No, nope, that one's not big enough. But I put it off because it kills my hand, so I just I put it off until the very last minute. Till I run out of anything to use. I think I'll put this one on, but I do have a little bit more that I need to cut out here, a little bit of white. So I'm just gonna cut it out real quick. I usually leave a little bit of these stems on when I put it in my little ephemera journals. It just makes it a little bit easier and it, they don't break apart as much. Stems don't break off unless I pull them and they break off. Alright, I got it. I don't think it's perfect, but I got it. But I'm just going to use my little ink here to kind of go over it a little bit. And if it has any white around the edges, then I'll cover it up with this. If I don't tear the stems off of it, I think I'll just put it down like that. So now let's see if I can get some glue on this without tearing it up. Y'all want to take any bets on it? <laughs> I could use my art glitter, but it takes a while when you're going around all the little places like this. So we'll see if we can do this with our glue glue. It's pretty soft today, so maybe it won't tear it. Because it's pretty warm out there. It's actually 85 today. And very humid. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to pull that book over in frame. I hope it didn't blind you. That glare off that page. 
forgot about it. Told you y'all gonna have to get me broke back in to filming. About forgot how. There we go. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll just snip this little piece off. Don't need that. And then, you know, I have to put a little bit of washi down here. I meant to put some book page behind that, but guess what? I didn't. I may just stick a little piece of book page down there beside the stem. Since I forgot to put it behind it. I'm not remembering a lot of things. I got medicine head. Then I'll get my washi. And somebody asked why I did this. It's just something that I like. It's, it doesn't hold anything or do anything. It's just something that I like to do. So I just like the looks of it. There we go. And I think we can even put a little label on there. I'm just going to grab one of Katie's labels out of here. Yeah, I think I'll just use that one. Now her labels are a freebie on our blog, so it'll, it's months back, so you'll just have to scroll through the archives, but they're there. Yeah, I like that. So there's that one. Took me longer than I meant for it to, so let's do a larger one. Now I've got these, you can just see they're backings from ephemera, and I I save them for this. This side looked pretty good to me, but I'm not going to use that. I have run out of my scraps that are big enough to do this one with, but I think I'm going to use this. This is my second print of this. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be I may have to trim it off a little bit more it looks like it might be a little bit wide let's see yep it's a little wide so I think I'll trim off this side Should have measured it before I cut it and put paper on there. Make sure this works before we round our corners. Put the backing on. Yes. So that slides down in there easy and that's what I want. I don't want them to bend and curl and all of that. So let's put a piece of paper on the back. And I don't really mind if you can see this through the paper because to me this, these colors are pretty. See, I just do a little bit of everything. Sometimes I use the book, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use more glitter glue, sometimes I don't. <laughs> no rhyme or reason these days for me. <laughs> it's funny to think that not doing videos in a while or not doing a certain thing in a while, you kind of forget you get in this pattern and you get in a rhythm when you're doing them and then when you don't do them for a while it's like okay now what do I do now and what do I check now no. <laughs> you can get out of rhythm that's for sure okay this is this is the upper side the, these flowers are hanging down so that's what I was wanting to have them show on the outside um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it no I'm gonna go ahead and punch my corner first. I don't want this in a tag shape either. I just want the corners punched and I don't know if they're going to punch real well because the glue's still wet but it looks like they are. That little punch just takes a kicking, a licking and keeps on kicking. I'll say that right in a minute. Is that how it goes? Takes a licking and keeps on kicking. <laughs> 
certainly if you want to have a good laugh, come and watch me for the next week or so while I'm trying to say my words right and figure out what I'm doing and all of that. Oh yeah, I like how that sh those flowers showed out the top to go with this. And let's put a little topper on there. What did I do with those other ones? There they are. Do I want one of those? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll use that one. It'll bring that, the brown that's here, up there to the tag. So that'll work. Anybody do anything interesting while I've been away? Have you news to tell me about anything or anybody? No. <laughs> I didn't really keep up with much. I just didn't feel like it. Yeah, I like that. And then I think all that we're going to put on this is just maybe a little stamp or something. Yeah, I like that there. I don't think I'm going to put anything else. No, we don't want that bird on there. So that's going to be all I'm going to do to that. So there's that one. We might do one more. We'll do one for, let's do one for this one. I really like that. And then I think that's all that I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's find a different paper than what's in it. Or a different paper than what it is made out of, I should say. So we could do the pink. That bring out the pink and the flowers. Well, I meant to turn this over and glue my writing paper on this side in case it showed through, but I've already used dark glitter glue now, and you don't really want to use the newsprint with art glitter glue because you can see it through it, so that's why I use the glue stick. It'll be all right. One more blooper. Well, I didn't measure this one either. We better measure. Oh yeah, that one's going to fit down in there fine. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and cover the back. De-yuck de my scissors. Well, that is going to show through a little bit, so I'm going to use a different paper, I think. Let's see. Oh, that's thin too. Let's grab. Let's grab a piece of this. It won't. It won't show through this. I'm gonna put my glue on over here so that you won't have to see the glare. I watched a good movie last night. I had seen it a couple of times before, but I love Kevin Costner, so I watched The Guardian. Have you guys seen that? It is so good. I cry every time. <laughs> That's a really good movie. He is such a good actor. I haven't seen any new movies with him lately. Does anybody have any that you know of? Any new ones from him? I'd like to see some new. I don't keep up with what new movies comes out. Unless the kids tell me a particular something to watch, then I have no clue. I'll tell them, I'll, I'll watch a movie and I'll tell the kids, I'll say, oh, y'all need to watch this movie. It's brand new. <laughs> They'll say, Mother, we watched that movie three years ago. <laughs> that shows how much I keep up. To me, it was brand new, wasn't it? All right. Now we want to put... I just want to put a little label on it. May go with something like that. Does that work? I think so. And I'm just going to put that down here since we've got all this going on up here. 
And then I want to put a topper on it. I don't think I want to use one of those though. I'm going to cut another one if I find a scrap here. Let's, let's cut this one. So sometimes when I have time and I have a little bit of extra time at the end of a video or at the end of a project and I have pieces like that left over, just little scraps, I'll go ahead and grab my punches out and just punch a bunch of these and a bunch of the other little tabs that we have, the little tab punch that we have. But, um, and then I have them ready. Okay. And that will slide down in there. Oh, I like that. I think we need something right here, though. Maybe a number. That's too big. These are Shappy Dappy Doodah. They're her numbers. On her Etsy store, she has these as a printable. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, I think that is it for the video. I'm going to finish these other two, put pocket, uh, put tags in them, and then I'll have them in the photos. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. So we made the little bags and then the tags to go in them. Very quick and easy project. We'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.